My grandmother and I have been very close since I was very young. This is us, it's little Allegra and grandma um, back in the 90s. We got even closer when I was a teenager after my grandfather died, which was really unexpected. Um, my grandfather died in a freak accident in 2006. He restored antique bicycles and cars and was working on a vehicle when it exploded and um, burnt my grandparents' house down. And he died from his injuries a few weeks later. And that taught my grandmother that nothing is ever certain or fixed. And she taught me that lesson too. We started spending a lot more time together after that when I was a teenager and into my first few years of college. Here's us together when I was 16. This is actually us in an airport on our way to China in 2008. She took me on a trip to China for my 16th birthday and gave me lots of experiences um, that no one else uh, would ever get to receive with their grandma or otherwise. Um, and one of my clearest memories around that time was when I went to visit her for spring break when I was 16. And we were spending some time together at 10.30 in the morning. She took me out for ice cream. Um, and I said, Grandma, why are we having ice cream sundaes at 10.30 in the morning? We're going to have lunch in an hour. And um, she looked at me very seriously <laughs> and said, Allegra, if there's anything the last few years and the stuff that your grandfather has taught me, it's that you could get hit by a bus tomorrow and die. Nothing is for certain, so eat your damn ice cream um, to develop the sort of devil-may-care attitude and did things like that and taking me on round-the-world trips. And um, when we went to China, uh, there was no drinking age, and so she kept saying, try the rice wine, try the sake, try the Chinese beer, try the whiskey. And I'd say, what, what would my mom say, Grandma? And she said, what your mom doesn't know won't hurt her and you only live once. Uh, so that's the lesson of my grandmothers I take with me. Even now when we can't go on cross country trips and when we're separated because of COVID-19, um, we still video chat together every week. And I remember that the future is always very uncertain. So maybe sometimes it's okay to eat ice cream for breakfast. Have a happy Mother's Day.